and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room, and we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with the Baltimore Ravens. It's a rematch of Super Bowl 47, minus one Harbaugh. The Ravens and 49ers are underway. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. carry for Raheem Mostert and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down calling no gain on the game's first play and it's second down now offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play things closed pretty quickly didn't they and how about the wrap up at the end of that tackle left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found Working from the gun, Garoppolo. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. He'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Now here's Samuel on the end around. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Draw play, Garoppolo gives to Mostert. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 yards for number 11. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to grade the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? First carry now for Trey Sermon. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst. Nice gain, too. They go back to the ground, this time Mostert. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. They get five, and it will go ahead and move the chains. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, a new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. 
No score after one on EA Sports. On second down, Mostert. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Steps away to his left. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. No one to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job seat. He got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. A first carry for the Clemson man, Wayne Gallman. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. On the handoff, this is Mostert. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. Pass the 20. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Well, we talked pregame about how we might have some twists and turns in this one, but how about this on the opening drive? Well, they had a pretty good drive working, didn't they? So you wouldn't expect this ending because what you were thinking was they were going to put it in the end zone themselves, not have it go the other direction. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And following the pick six, and that decent field position of throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. Yeah, but they told, him, they told us they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. A handoff running left is Mostert. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. They're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. 41 Mike. 41 Mike. Yeah. Here we go on fourth down with Garoppolo. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. It got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. 
Running the counter with Mostert. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Tackles, tackles. 41 to Mike, 41 to Mike. To throw on second and six, Garoppolo. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got him bumped down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Garoppolo on first down. This is caught. It's Sanu. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Here's Mostert, and he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Garoppolo looks to throw. Touchdown! Ross Drelly as the first half is winding down. And the 49ers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Gold with the extra point, and we are tied here in the second quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Ravens take over first and ten at their own 25 yard line. Clock showing just 16 seconds till the half as they line up first and 10. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now Jackson. Flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tucking in run time, and he picks up a first down. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Ravens. It's Hollywood Brown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. As time expires in the first half. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Both these teams, no doubt, making their final halftime adjustments as we speak. And for the call of the second half, we get it back out to Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis.
And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Ravens ready to receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's helmet. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. There he goes, left side. The 20, 10, and all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Well, I mean, Lamar Jackson, what more can we say at this point? He is a living, breathing highlight reel. And go ahead and tack on that last play to the list of big ones by number eight. And this is a play defensively where you're just looking around and saying, what was that? What just happened? You're looking at your teammates. They're looking at you. And let's face it, your defensive coordinator, He's not going to tip his cap to him. That's not how football works, but he probably should have after that run. That was absolutely sensational. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. On play action, it's Garoppolo. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. A man who has done this a lot, Justin Houston, in there to record the sack. Well, they sent him on the blitz from that linebacker spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it's hard for anyone to react. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one goes for 24 yards. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. They hand it off to Mostert. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. And he'll get it down here to the 43. 44 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Sermon, they'll try the left side with him. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. A oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Wait, wait, wait. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 28. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. 
A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Back to the running game with Mostert. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. They fake the give, now Garoppolo looks to throw. Buying time to his left, and he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Samuel bringing in the slant. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A gain of six there on first. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did, throw that pass inside. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the 49ers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. set at the line for this next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game, and you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. He got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs him. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now it's Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. From the gun, Jackson. Throw right side is complete to Andrews, his tight end. 13 yards there offset some of the penalty yardage as it's second down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. 
They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. From just shy of midfield, Jackson. Eluding. Oh, no, he lost the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. So not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Throwing now is Jackson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. He was looking for Watkins that time, but it'll be second down. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Oh, Jackson's going to throw it. He's going deep for Brown. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face, and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Let's put that team on the puck. 41's coming. 41's the move. Garoppolo. Check curls, check curls, check curls. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. Well, obviously, Charles, this stage of the game, down two scores, they had to put the football in the air. Unfortunately, it gets picked off. And the criticism comes easily in situations like this, but you just laid it out. Look where they are on the scoreboard. Look at where the clock is in the game. He has to take a chance here and try and get the ball downfield to his receivers. Unfortunately, it was picked off. And this is caught by Watkins. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. That's on the guard, Kevin Zeitler. First round pick back in 2012. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. Flush to his right. Got some real estate inside the 30. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. And that's on the guard, Kevin Zeitler. Oh, 
Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Ravens. It's Hollywood Brown. Marquise Brown, 29 yards. And the Ravens have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Tucker now to add the point after. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this is gonna be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. Now Garoppolo. He'll get this complete to Charlie Werner. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. That's complete to Dwelly, his tight end. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Line of scrimmage moves from one 37-yard line to the other as they come up first and 10. Garoppolo now. Now Garoppolo is in trouble, and down he goes. Like a freight train off the edge, Calais Campbell with a sack. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one.